running and climbing on a playground, mastering the monkey bars. It's almost a rite of passage in childhood. But for our next guest, what happened on the monkey bars was a scary wake-up call, one that left a mother deeply concerned about her daughter's health. One day, it's outside at recess. Madison was playing on the monkey bars and fell off. Her arm was fractured. But the teacher said, it was like her eyes were glazed over. And I said, I know that look. I've seen that look. It frightened me terribly. Shortly after we were married, we were told we could not have kids. So Madison is like my miracle. When Madison was a year and a half, I took her to her pediatric dentist. During x-rays, they saw that her adenoids were enlarged. We went to the ENT, and the sleep study revealed that she stopped breathing more than 15 times an hour. She was diagnosed with sleep apnea. I was on pins and needles. I couldn't imagine my baby not breathing. When the doctor told me that uh, it could be corrected with the removal of the adenoids and the tonsils, I was like, yes. She had the surgery when she was three years old. It appeared that she was resting well. Everything was looking on the up and up. This past summer, I noticed some things, some red flags. It was snoring again, loud. Teacher calling, saying Madison went to sleep in class three times today. I am waking up in my library. I am waking up in my closet. Mostly I've been waking up on the toilet. Waking up in the shower. And Madison started to sleepwalk. So when you go to bed at night? It scares me. I'm so scary. Scared. We had a new sleep study done. The sleep study showed that she does still have sleep apnea and partial narcolepsy. I was also informed that the adenoids had grown back. I asked about a CPAP machine. I was told that would not um, be a good idea because she also sleepwalks and it could be disconnected. She could get tangled in it and it could be a hazard. My worst nightmare is she gasps, but for air, and she can't get it. I'm always getting up three and four times to go kiss her just to say I love her because I don't know. This is the last time. They had heard of a service dog that could help Madison with her sleep apnea. I was like, ah, service dog, okay, no, not us. I don't have the money for that right now. Well, the wake up call was when Madison was playing on the monkey bars fell asleep and wake up with a fractured arm. It just scared me so bad beyond fear. I knew immediately that service dog has to come now. We met Hershey about two weeks ago and it was like love at first sight. I was like, what is this service dog? It's like a cat that serves you <laughs> with some breakfast. Madison, she has her medical bills which are totaling up quickly. And this is just the beginning. But these are the things I don't mind considering for the sake of my baby. If this dog can do the things that I'm hoping she can do, she would be priceless. <laughs>